DC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, it's a humid Saturday. Hmm. I just had lunch, late lunch, it's one o'clock. And um, Miss DC's working today. And I'm kind of getting things ready for next week slowly. Because at this time, next week we should be taking off. Taking off for a flight to Canada, yeah. And that, that's, well, you know, there's a lot of organization. I mean, it, everything is ready, but uh, we we're all working this week up until the last minute. And uh, Mrs. DC is working on Friday, even on the Friday evening. So basically all the bags, we're trying to get things ready as much as possible before. And I'll be taking care, I guess, of the flight, uh, I can say the, the boarding cards and stuff like that the day before. We've rented, hired a car for the uh, for the trip. It'll be a Toyota Rav Four, Rav Four. Over here we call them the Rav Cat, uh, Rav Fear. So anyway, <laughs> whatever. Over there you probably call them Rav Four. Anyway, so we're, it's it, looking forward to that. It'll it'll be good, you know. So like I say, getting everything ready, checking the hotel uh, reservations again, little little things like that. But still, you know. And it's, and as I mean, they're all here as well. But for certain things like that, I want to have my paper copy as well. But once you're over there, you can get onto a computer and you know pull them out. So it, it it's it's actually sometimes traveling in that respect is a lot easier uh, than it used to be. But anyway, you know it's still a big trip, and we're going with uh, Son of DC and his girlfriend, uh, fiance, future daughter-in-law. A lot of names, isn't it? Be easier when I say, you know, son of DC and his wife, or vice versa. Whatever. I mean, you know what I mean. Oh. Anybody notice the hat? <laughs> it's from Bozeman. Bozeman, Montana. This hat is. Well, this cap is 20 years old. <laughs> Hard to believe. How did I... Well, I mean, I knew where it was. I'm just kind of like keeping it nice now. I'm just not wearing it very often. I pulled it out because I've been uh, scanning slides. Um, you know, I'm over 2,000 slides that I scan. And now, and I'm in 1996, and I was seeing... I saw some pictures which would have been early 1996 or maybe even 1995. It could even be 21 years old, actually. But anyway, in that period, eh, it's probably 1996. Not clear. No, anyway, it doesn't really matter. It might actually be 1995, really. But in that period, I went for a conference in Bozeman and it was the National Organic Symposium, uh, so Organic Chemistry. Fantastic conference. I, I love those conferences. They were always on the beginning, so they were always in June, late June, early July. Just after sc school stopped. So they were probably early July now when I think about it. Because the thing was is that we would go into university buildings. We would sleep in dorms. We would sleep in dorms, but a lot of the academics <clears throat> would bring their families. And to bring their families, well, school had to be out. So by then, it must have been, like I say, in early July. And uh, one was in Bozeman. It could have been, like I say, 95. And uh, well, it was a really great time. Uh, and uh, we... Uh, I remember seeing while I was over there, there was a tribute to Sir Derek Barton. If any of you are a chemist, you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. But uh, and then we uh, uh, we went to Yellowstone because I mean we had like a social program that was included. So uh, the way these conferences were, this one here, it was like a full package. So you had all your meals, and we went to uh, in the evening. One evening we had a rodeo. That was absolutely great. 
And uh, yeah, Yellowstone. And you're asking me, did I go for the science? Well, yeah. The way it was is that some conferences have multiple sessions, but this one did not. That was one of the nice things about that. You had from early morning until the evening with the social times included, uh, there was like, um, well, for the wives, there was order, the accompanying persons, there were afternoon social times. But for people like myself, we had one day, which was a full social, which was the, the time we went to Yellowstone, and four other days, whatever it was, I think it was four other days now, uh, where aside from the evening where there was that, uh, the rodeo thing, which was a big barbecue and a rodeo, we would have large breaks for the meals, but we would have also evening sessions. But it was great, and you can imagine, uh, if it's a science meeting, there was loads of mixers and drinks and so on. It just kind of belongs to science, doesn't it? Yeah, so having said all that, I came through because I was scanning the slides and fell on pictures of the boys. I'd brought them back some some hats, some cowboy hats. Man, did I come back for loaded cowboy hats. And if any of you remember Honest DC from the really old days of my YouTube experiences, he was wearing, he always would wear a, a cowboy hat, and that cowboy hat was bought in Bozeman. <laughs> Yeah, so like I say, it's 95 or 96. It all depends, I guess. I'd have to go and check if I brought those, if there were winter pictures. If there were winter pictures, they're probably... Yeah, like I said, it was July. It's 96, I guess, anyway. The age is creeping in. Can't remember those dates anymore. Yeah, so, anyway, all these memories going by, going through the slides. And that year, I'm, that's what I'm in right now, is that uh, there was birthday parties and Mrs. DC was um, making parties for uh, our second son. So that would have been July, of course. Yes, he's born the 13th of July. And um, <laughs> the kid parties that we would make, my goodness, they were incredible. I mean, with all the with all the games and the sack races and so on and it was it was a lot of fun when you when i look back you know on those memories i think like the kids have the kids had a good childhood they really did so we we did take good care of them and uh, in that year there was also a trip from my mom and my aunt that came over my aunt is deceased now but uh, that was also another another good time. I mean, the kids got to see, you know, family and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, earlier on, I was watching a video from, uh, well, it's King Siggy, the legend. He's got his, he's got a vlogging channel now. And it's funny because, I mean, he's been around on YouTube, I mean, longer than I have. I mean, I just kind of remember him from way, 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 way back then. I mean, he's had to change his channel a couple of times, I guess. But what was interesting is to hear him say um, that he didn't feel at ease when he was vlogging or was looking for his words. And I thought, like, wow, if you're looking for your words, I wonder what it is when you're not. I mean, he was just going on. I mean, it was... I think the whole thing is, is I mean, if we look at people that vlog every day, like Dave Nicholson, for example. Hi, Dave. Um... Uh, People would say, well, does he have something to say every day? Well, he does, actually, because he talks about his everyday life, and, and we know about it. And it's he doesn't make it boring. I mean, I mean, some people might think, well, every little thing of your day can be boring. And yeah, I mean, I, we don't really need to know absolutely everything, but it's just the way you, you talk about it. And it's, the thing is, with vlogging, I guess it's having a conversation. It's, I mean, I vlog on topics a lot, as you've noticed. And sometimes I vlog like now, and we're having a conversation together. And uh, there's two different ways of vlogging, I guess. I mean, like, I do a lot of walking vlogs, because I have the chance of having that nice little forest, all, not, well, opposite pretty well from where I work. So I can go there, have lunch, and go in that really great place, not only to rest up and energize, but to vlog. So, you know, and it's, it's kind of like brings topics along. And the fact is also, 
far as I'm concerned is I do a lot of reading because of work or um, or I will listen to a lot of podcasts while I'm walking to work and put all that together I mean it, it does add a lot of topics that one can chat about because sometimes I mean like I think about these things myself and I wonder you know, what everybody else is thinking in that way you know it makes a vlogging topic and have I talked enough I bet I have I've been going on oh yeah 10 minutes well I guess I will stop then so DC is gonna say goodbye to everybody uh, as you can see it's a wet Saturday and I hope you have a nice weekend take care everybody bye bye